Hi guys, welcome again. Uh, this is Samir. <clears throat> Today I am going to teach you how to <clears throat> study the motion of a body in vertical circle. So when a body is moving in horizontal circle, that's a different thing, but it is a vertical circle. So uh, let me explain you how the body moves in a vertical circle. So let me draw a circle. So this is a circle. Uh, this is a vertical circle along which the body moves. So in body which is moving in vertical circle, there are so many things to be noticed. Now in this section I am going to teach you how to find out the velocity tension at any point in the vertical circle. So let us say the body is projected in vertical circular motion with momentum mu which means the initial velocity is u. Let L is the length of the string, T is the tension in the string, the weight, a component of weight is acting downwards, which is mv, and there is one more force called the centripetal force. So you need to keep in mind three forces, tension in the string, weight or the component of weight and the centripetal force. Now, let's say after a time, body reaches this point, making an angle theta with the vertical. So at this point, the weight is mg, again acting downwards, but the component of weight along the tension is mg cosine theta. Here tension changes, let this be t theta and the centripetal force is fc. In this diagram, I am going to find out the velocity of a body at this point P. How to do that? It's a simple using law of conservation of energy. Using law of conservation of energy, the total mechanical energy at this point A is equal to total mechanical energy at this point P. So if I write the equations of total mechanical energy, that would be half mu squared which is the kinetic energy at point A, assuming the potential energy at this point to be zero, so there is no potential energy here, is equal to total energy at point P. So total energy at point P, let the velocity at this point is V theta. If velocity is V theta, then half m V theta squared plus and height is h. It reached the height h. So you can write it as mgh. But most of students confuse what is the height, how to find out the height. That's a simple thing. Using a triangle here, I can write the height is l times 1 minus cosine theta. So in place of h, you can put L into 1 minus cosine theta. So that's what I'm going to do that. So this equation turns out to be half mu square is half m v theta square plus mgl into 1 minus cosine theta. Since I'm trying to find out what is v theta, then if I do a substitute, if I do the calculation, and I put V theta as subject, then I would get V theta square is equal to U square minus 2GL into 1 minus cosine theta. Since mass gets cancelled, then V theta would be root over U square minus 2GL times 1 minus cosine theta. So you got the velocity at this point. If you get the velocity at this point, but finding out tension is very simple. You can do that in this way. So I want to write it here that T is equal to T at any point theta is equal to mv theta square by mv square by r which is the radius. So I can write it as mv theta square by L plus mg cosine theta. So you can write the equation for tension. Also, you can write velocity, you can write total energy, you can write potential energy, you can write kinetic energy. So, whatever you want, you can write. Now, let us say 
the velocity at this horizontal point, you can take theta is equal to 90 degrees. If you put theta 90 goes 90 is 0, then V theta at this point must be u square minus 2gl because cos 90 is 0. And here, this turns out to be 0 again. Cos 90 is 0, there is no component of weight in this direction. And V theta, you got u square minus 2gl. So you can write the tension at this point, let this point be B is equal to m v theta square by L plus this term is 0 but v theta square is u square minus 2 gl you can write m into u square minus 2 gl over L. So this is how you find out the tension. You go at the highest point, the highest point is uh, theta is equal to 180 degrees at the highest point whatever is the point by just knowing the angle with the vertical you can find out the tension velocity kinetic energy potential energy momentum everything using this and this so hope this has cleared you a few doubts in motion of the body in vertical circle thank you very much for watching the video